In today's video, I wanna teach you all the different touchscreen gestures on Windows 11. Just so you guys know, I do now also work at Microsoft in the partner team, but I wanna keep creating these helpful tip and trick tech videos to help you use your computer better. That being said, let's get into this. So the first gesture I wanna teach you is the fact that you can, of course, tap anywhere. And this is like doing a left click on your mouse by simply selecting something. Of course, if you double tap, that would open up an application like the recycling bin. Tap and we can close that up. If you have your finger, you press and hold and you drag it, that is like pressing and holding on the left click of the mouse. And then of course you're selecting different items there. And if you wanted to do a right click, you wanna press and hold for a couple of seconds, a square populates around your finger, and then it does a right click for you. So there are a few basic gestures to get you started. If you wanted to look at the different applications that you have open, there's a few different ways of doing this. I'm just gonna quickly open up YouTube and our Microsoft Store. And the first thing I'm gonna do is three finger swipe to the left or to the right. And that allows me to quickly jump between the apps I have open. If I wanna see all the apps I have open, I can do a th three finger swipe up, sorry, a four finger swipe up. This shows me all the open applications so I can quickly jump between one or the other. And I can also go ahead and create a brand new desktop, which then allows me to grab an application and drop it to say a, de a second or a third desktop. And then to jump between different desktops is a four finger swipe to the left or a four finger swipe to the right. And you can see here, I'm jumping from desktop one to desktop two really easily. If I swipe up with four fingers, I can see all my desktops again. I'm gonna close desktop two for now. All the apps open on desktop two will move across to desktop one. And you can see we have all our apps that are open here. If I wanted to quickly jump to the desktop, a three finger swipe down will take us straight to our desktop and a three finger swipe up will bring us back to our desktop. If you wanted to see your widgets from any page on the uh, desktop or from any application, swipe in from the left-hand side, so just off the bezel, and you can bring up your widgets here. And if you wanna see your notifications or your action center, let's get rid of that by swiping to the left again. To get your notifications, swipe in from the right-hand side, just off the bezel, to pull up all your notifications here, and then tap anywhere for it to go and disappear. If you wanted to zoom in or out of a page or a document, you can simply use two fingers and zoom in or zoom out. And of course, if that page you're on does allow you to scroll, simply swipe up or swipe down to scroll on the page. And of course, if you wanted to type in to something, if you're in a tablet mode, simply select anywhere you can input text. By default, your keyboard will pop up and you can either type things in by pressing one key at a time, or you can use the swipe to text and that makes it easier and faster to swipe and type in when you're using your Windows 11 device as a tablet using the touch screen. And there you have it. That is how you can use the touch screen gestures on Windows 11. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you're on a supercharged way as your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.